Welcome to Overdevest Nursery on a windy, rather chilly day. And while the weather's not that great outside, I've taken the opportunity to come in here into one of our greenhouses and take a look at some of the edible plants that we offer through a network of garden centers that stretches right throughout our region from the Northeast to the Mid-Atlantic States. Lots of really good things for you to enjoy growing and also, of course, lots of really good things to enjoy eating too. And one of the easiest and really probably the most delicious of vegetables to have and certainly one of the most accommodating and hardy plants to grow is, of course, rhubarb. And this variety called Victoria dates back to England during the 1800s and, of course, bears the name of Queen Victoria. Now, this particular variety is a really good performer, carries these pinkish green stems that, when you harvest them, of course, are wonderful in pies and all sorts of desserts, particularly when they're mixed in with sugar and so on. Don't need to tell you too much about that, but certainly what I would like to tell you is that this is a very easy and accommodating plant to grow. Now these young plants here are going to get off to a great start. It's important that you plant it in nice, fertile, free-draining soils. You build up a nice big clump. After you plant these, you simply take these pots, which are biodegradable pots, you put them into the earth. The pot will biodegrade. They're made of rice hulls and bamboo. And in no time at all, you'll find that the plants will grow out and make sizable clumps of about three foot or so high by about the same wide. If established clumps throw up out of the middle of the clump a flower spike, you cut that out because the flowers you don't need, you don't want seed. You want really to build up a nice big strong solid clump that then you can go in and harvest the stalks. The leaves on rhubarb are inedible. You really just want these small stems that, as you see in the picture, are really delicious whenever you prepare them. Now, it is important to tell you that when you take these, it's going to take at least two years and probably three years to build up a clump that's big enough and strong enough to be able to begin harvesting. And while these are only little plants, I'll show you that when it comes to harvesting, you can simply tug them down here at the bottom and you'll find that the whole stem comes away easily. You can discard the leaves and, of course, save the stems. That's the bit you want. And when you're growing them nice and strong and lush, you'll find then that the, the stems are nice and tender and that's what you want. In fact, when you get these established, if you plant more than one of them in a row, and I would suggest that you do that, you'll find that then it's a really good thing to force in the springtime. I know people that just simply take an old pot or a bucket or something like that, and they put it over the top of the dormant crowns, and then, because of lack of light, the stems grow up and they're all the more tender when that happens. I also used to, years ago, lift some of the clumps and bring them into a basement to the warmth and force them inside, take a few stems off them and then plant them back outside to recover. One of the great things about this is that it's extremely easy to grow, very hardy, not bothered by any pests and diseases, deer aren't going to bother them, and basically all you need to do is to plant it in a sunny or partially shaded site in nice, rich, fertile soil and then wait a few years and then you'll be able to enjoy this fabulous variety. This is rhubarb and the variety is Victoria.